All right. Well, see, that wasn't planned. This was just this was just on the fly. Um, so, as you guys know, I do. It's Thursday, so I typically do a throat punch Thursday episode. What's up, Dean? And today, I didn't plan on doing this one, but after talking with the guy at the gym this morning, um, and I asked him if I could go ahead and use this example this morning, um, he, he said, yeah, go ahead. I was like, cool. So how the conversation went down this morning, he was asking me about a couple of vehicles I have on the lot. Um, I was answering questions for him. And I said, I'm more than happy to show you the vehicles, um, set up a time to get you in there. And he said, no, I buy, I buy from another, another salesman. Uh, I said, okay, well, do you mind if I ask why you're asking me these questions instead of him? And he said, well, he's not the best at getting back to me or returning my calls. I said, well, it sounds like you need another sale. And I mean, I just, I just said it, it just, it just came out. And he said that he's been, he's been buying from the salesman for years. And he said, but if I buy from the dealership, he's like, even though it's buying from him, you still get paid, right? I was like, what's up, Anna Marie? Uh, I said, no, man, that's, that's not how it works. And I said, just because you buy at the dealership does not mean I, I get paid. So I, I told him, I was like, Here, here's how it works. And I, I'm gonna ex explain it to everybody else so everybody else understands, so there's no, there's no confusion. I work on commission. I get paid on commission. So if I don't sell a vehicle to somebody, I don't make a paycheck. And let me let me back up for those of you, JC, what's up, man? Those of you that aren't familiar with the commission base and commission structure. Commission is the amount of money given to uh, an agent of a business me uh, typically a percentage of the value or amount involved on a particular transaction so that's that's what commission is uh, I'm not hourly I'm not salary I am commission commission based so like I said that means if I don't sell a vehicle I don't get paid why is that important because buying, so we'll, we'll use Anna Marie because I just saw her name pop up. Anna Marie comes to the dealership and knows I work there, but doesn't know that she can ask for me specifically. And another salesperson starts talking to her and she ends up buying from that salesperson. They get the credit, they get the commission and she sees me walking by, oh, hey, uh, I just bought a vehicle here. Um, I, I couldn't find you, but I bought from the other guy, but you, you, still, get, you still get paid, right? No, uh, unfortunately, that, that is not, that's not how it works. Uh, buying from me, so she buys from me, equals me getting paid not her buying from somebody else and because it's like a big umbrella at the dealership I, I get paid not not how it works so with with that uh, we have a lot of people that may not know that we work we work on commission so here here's a few things number one profit is not a bad word everybody is in the business of, of making money Hopefully business is good. And, you know, with that, you know, we're, we're not UNICEF. We don't, we don't give pe people vehicles for free. We don't, we don't say, hey, congratulations, here, here's a vehicle. Uh, 
It's, it's not how it works. We're in, in the business to, to make money. We all have bills to pay. We have families to feed. Uh, we have spouses to take care of so they don't smother us in our sleep and make it look like natural causes. Um, babe, if you're watching this, just ignore that part. Uh, so, and also, Gary, what's up, man? Thanks for jumping in. Also with that, people try to cut us off at the knees when negotiating on price. There is not a whole lot of markup in these vehicles that we sell. You know why? Because the internet makes keeps everybody honest. The days of like four to six thousand dollars markup in vehicle, which don't get me wrong, that would be nice. It's it's just not the case anymore because if we overprice a vehicle and you see it you see it online and you see somebody else's vehicle for five hundred dollars cheaper, are you even gonna bother calling me or stopping at the dealership? No, hell no. You're going to keep driving and you're going to go to the other dealership to save $500. That's how it is. Sorry, I keep getting messages. So cutting me off at the knees does a number of things. Number one, it doesn't, it doesn't do me any favors. It doesn't do you any favors. You asking for a $500 discount is going to save you like 4 or $5 a month on on a payment. Don't eat out one time by yourself. There you go. Problem solved. Or for those of your beer drinkers, uh, equals a six pack. So there you, there you go. But that cutting, cutting me off at the knees, that, that doesn't, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help you because in order to continue doing what I'm doing and help as many people as I can and educate as many people as I can along the way, I, I need to make I need to make money. I need to pay bills. I, I need to make ends meet. And am I going to get rich off of one sale? Hell no. You're out of your damn mind if you think that me selling you a truck, I'm going to get rich off that one sale. You are fucking high. It's not going to happen. Well, I guess not everybody's high because I guess that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, see? So it's a good thing I'm doing this today. See? Proactiveness. Write that down. And I, but I say, I say all this because I, I don't work for free. Do you, I don't imagine that you work for free either. When, when you go to work, do you, do you punch a clock or do you just say, hey, I'm, I'm not going to clock in today. Today, I work for you. I work for free. No, it doesn't make it. It doesn't make sense. You don't work for free. I can't work for free. That's that's not how that's not how it works. And for some of you, it may tie into job performance. You know, are you are you getting paid what you're worth? Do you feel like you're getting paid what you're worth? Because we don't get raises in the in the car industry because we're commission based. If we want to raise, we sell more vehicles. And the best way for us to do that is by talking to people, helping people, educating people, getting in front of more people. And it's, it's a matter of getting paid what you're worth. So for people like you or some of the others that, you know, punch a clock every day, you get a raise typically every, every year, every other year, whatever the case may be, varies by industry. But do you feel like you're getting paid what you're worth? So if you're making $21 an hour and you only get a one and a half, one and a half percent raise, but you feel like you should have got a 3% raise. So right there, the manager or the company cut you off at the knees because they don't see that you're worth that full 3%. They only see that you're worth one and a half percent. That's why I'm doing this video today. That's why I want to educate people. That's why I want to help people. And I don't know what JC just said. You and the buyer should have an understanding that will get you, that will get them the best deal out the door. Absolutely, JC. I 100% agree with that. And that's what, that's what I try to do. And we try to 
do as much of that. If we're doing our job right, we do as much of that beforehand as then before we go and sit down and do all the paperwork. I have people that ask me the price and try to cut me off at the knees before they even drive the vehicle. They don't even know if they like the vehicle. They look around, they walk around it, you know, look, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you like the vehicle? Well, I I don't know. But I, I might if you if you knock six grand off the price. If you don't like a vehicle, no matter what the price is, it's not going to matter. There's nothing to talk about if you don't like the vehicle. If this is a vehicle that you don't, don't love, you can't live without, that you're not going to get excited every time you drive, price is irrelevant. It, it doesn't mean anything because it's nothing, nothing's going to, nothing's going to happen. You're not going to like it. I'm not going to sell it to you because in a week you're going to call me and be like, Hey, asshole, you sold me this car. I hate, why'd you sell me this car? I hate it's, that's how, that's how it is. People still have the misconception that salespeople are trying to cheat them. Absolutely, Anna Marie. And we're we're not trying to cheat anybody. We are there to to help people, to educate people, to help them make a decision if they need to. Or like I did a video, what was it, Monday, with the kid that needed somebody to take a chance on him and needed somebody to help him. Three other dealerships told him pound sand. I spent a little extra time and helped him out, educated him, told him what the process is going to be, told him what we're going to do, told him why. This is what you need to do. And this is what you need to do to start out. So that's uh, that's really that's really all I got. Um, like I said, I just this was kind of I thought about doing something like this, but it was more of an impromptu after talking to a guy in the gym this morning and he was kind of taken back by the fact that I told him when I when I he told me that he had been buying vehicles from the same guy for years and I I just straight asked him every time you're you're in the market do you have to call him multiple times does he not does he not return your calls for like he's done for years? Is this unusual? And the dude dude went silent. Didn't say a word. That's why I followed it up with maybe it's time to look at to deal with another salesman that wants to help you and will return your calls and will return your messages. That's why I guarantee everybody, I tell everybody, you will never get followed up with like you do with me. Not not gonna happen. Because I I care about the people the people I help. I I call them. I text them. Uh, I see them around town all all the time. I say hi. I talk to them. See, make sure you know. See how they're doing. See how their family's doing. If they bring up the vehicle, fine. Let them bring up the vehicle. I I'm okay. Too many people operate on no news is good news, and that's why they don't make the calls. Like I said yesterday in my my video I did yesterday, there's a lot that I do I don't get paid for. There's a lot of those calls I don't want to make because the last time, uh, <laughs> Francisco's Francisco's right. I do I do send out Christmas cards. Um, him him and and his wife have have received Christmas cards from me in in the past uh, that's one of the things that's one of the things I do I do I don't include my face or a picture in that Christmas card that's a benefit for everybody I'm just I'm just saying that's where that's why I have a hat and a beard I mean it's what it is only so much I can do about my face y'all uh, but there's there's calls that I don't I don't want to make and that's why I have to make them those are the first ones that I I need to I need to make, I need to knock out, I need to do. And that's what it is. I hope you guys have learned something from this. Um, I hope you guys realize that, you know, we're, we're not shady. We're not going to 
we're not going to uh, get rich off selling you one one vehicle one time. It, it's not going to happen. We want to we want to sell you multiple vehicles over multiple years. Build that relationship. Will selling you multiple vehicles over multiple years get us rich? No. Will it get us by? Absolutely it will. Will we have fun along the way? Damn right we will. Well, at least with me. Write that down too. Um, but that that's all I got, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Uh, call me, 620-794-1032. And I will see you all tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Friday, yeah. So Matt, in the hat, John North Ford, Lincoln Nissan, here in Emporia. And remember, guys, I do these videos because your experience matters. Carry on.